Good evening, everybody. This week there will be some rumbling on Pikes Peak as the 92nd running of the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb will run on Sunday. <laughs> Once a year, the twisty 12-mile road up the mountain is turned into a track. Specially built vehicles from all around the world are brought to race against the clock. Fastest to the top in each category wins. You can race motorbikes. So, bit of me. It's a bit of me. The Pikes Peak International Hill Climb is the motorsport equivalent of conquering Mount Everest but with 156 treacherous turns and sheer drops, the risks don't come any higher. Oh, there he goes. Miraculously, all the drivers survived these crashes with minimal injuries. I'm going to try and give it my best shot. A win would be fantastic. But whatever, it's not going to be easy. We've got a lot of unknowns. A lot of unknowns. This 92-year-old event, the second oldest race in America after the Indy 500, has never been won by a Brit. For a chance of victory, Guy will have to build a bespoke motorcycle that compensates for the way thin air saps power. That genuinely scares me, no joking, that scares me. Keep it going. He'll also have to exercise to breaking point so he can adapt to the effects of racing at altitude. Stop. And he'll have to train his brain to memorize every one of the 156 turns. Left, right, left, right, right past the ski center. But look, you think you're going to go off the end of the earth. Finally, Guy and his best friend will embark on an epic road trip across America and confront a series of problems that will threaten the whole attempt. Well, I'm trying to think of plan B, but at the minute plan B ain't turning up. 